Hey guys, this is Mike Austin with Vectology. I'm here to demo a few of my new brushes I just created for you guys. It'll be available later on today or as you watch this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me use my art brush one here. I don't really name them any particular name. My settings I have here, it's just, you know, basic settings here. Tints and shades, you can change that if you like. You know, it's not really important. You know, this is make sure you can change the color of the brush and whatnot. Okay, let me go okay to that. Okay, how I use my brushes for the most part is I will build my brush up out of uh, maybe a transparency of 10 or 20%. And I will layer that like so. Okay. My whole approach to Illustrator is really more organic than, than, than most. So I like this buildup of color here. I'm using a thick brush. It's kind of bundling up, but if I go, you know, a little bit thinner, thinner stroke there, it's going to go like so. This can be used for clouds or, you know, anything that needs to have a more of an organic look or just maybe just a, if you maybe just writing something with this brush, you can do that. You know. Like that. A little more organic there that was our first brush and I really don't have any I, I make these brushes I don't know how you're gonna use them in the future I mean this is this is really up to you guys but you know I'm just making them for you guys to have fun with them this brush is a little bit more tapered in the front so you're gonna be able to see more of a maybe like a fireball Think of that fireball Mario throws in Super Mario Brothers, kind of that shape here, just kind of just. And I have it set to, um, let's go ahead and get in there really fast. You could change this to, you know, I have it to scale the fit stroke length. This keeps it, you know, if I go shorter, it'll go shorter and stuff like that. If I scale proportionately, it makes them a little bit smaller because it's going to make them, you know, depending how wide I do my stroke, it'll change. And also, I can change the um, whether or not I use pressure. I'm going to go ahead and change this to, this 1 in 100 is pretty good there. Leave strokes. I'm just going to experiment that a little bit. Because it's the same thing as, you know, if you're using the profile, if you go short, go short like that. It's pretty much the same thing. Not much difference there. One of the major things with Illustrator is that when you're using the brushes, let's say you're coming from Photoshop into Illustrator, um, to make tapered strokes, you have to have a, a tablet that has pressure. But in Illustrator, you can make brushes with a taper because for the most part, Brushes in Illustrator and I mean in Photoshop work like the, the symbol sprayer. Let me grab that really quick. It takes a shape. Let me make this symbol really quick. Make a quick. I'll show you what I mean right here. Make an ellipse really fast. They turn out to black. Okay. Now would let me bring this down a little bit. What Photoshop does is it takes one shape and it copies it over over a period. So make this a symbol really quick name that whatever okay now we have our symbol sprayer illustrate what Photoshop does is it takes pretty much intensity eight what's the highest you can go in here ten okay cool it basically takes the shape and just kind of copies it like that so you get a, a full spectrum but the problem with that is you have to have a, you know, they say pressure intensity. You have to have, I'm using a pressure sent to the brush here. So this is how Photoshop brushes work. So really, you know, if you want to kind of think about it in Photoshop, you have the brush tool and in Illustrator, you have the symbol sprayer. It works exactly the same. Pretty much if I can sit there really, go really slow here, I can just kind of make that really thick and like so it works exactly the same but 
you can't make tapered anything like that and with that with that tool so with illustrator you already have tapered brushes set so basically you can go in here start drawing with any brush and as long as you've as if you define it as tapered it will be tapered for you you don't need to do that so it's one thing I love about illustrator is that you don't have to use you actually don't need a, a pen tablet to use illustrator to make you know tapered strokes that's pretty cool so it's a good that's a really big bonus for illustrator Okay, my next brush I have here I have more of a it's more of a damaged brush it's used more it's used more for like a just random backgrounds anything there you might need maybe some cover for for a background maybe a texture of some sort now I, I would suggest when you use these you know just look at it and say okay how can this be used and you can just go ahead and make it thicker swirl it around make some texture whatever you need to do with that it pretty much works any way you need it to now I'll be making many many of these brushes for you guys to be working with because I believe you know a lot of illustrators power is in its brushes you know all the stuff they can use from that so and I, I really love that so this is really important you just go and abstract things out no problem I'm gonna go ahead and start combining some different brushes together and see what we can get I call this the matrix system um, I do this with a lot of my different concept arts I do a lot of different things like when I do an, a drawing whatever I combine two different um, things together to get something totally different now when you're bringing brushes let me make, do it again when you're bringing brushes from Illustrator from the little brush box into your you know workspace there's always gonna be this little box around everything I don't know why it's there I don't know what it's for but delete it because it's gonna be extra data you don't need so delete that box it's really important let me go back again now I'm gonna combine this brush with this one right here I wanna just make sure they I don't know what they'll do I'm teaching you how to extend these brushes out to make them work for you Let's say you wanna use this brush here but you wanna combine the tip Go ahead and just bring these two together real quick. Maybe you want this tail to be more flared out or different. Take your warp tool, just, just flip it out a little bit more. Make a new brush out of it. Now I could do this. I can make. I can you know take my brushes and just keep doing this to you, for you guys. But you know I would rather you guys do it and get the experience of having you know you know extending your own brushes, making your own brushes. You know. Just post them on DeviantArt or whatever. You know, I will be making a DeviantArt um, group, so you guys can post these on there if you like your your creations. New art brush. I'm gonna keep that fixed. Method tints and shades. Okay. I'm gonna delete that brush really quick. I'm gonna use my brush now. It's a brand new shiny brush there. I'm gonna just see totally different new new creation and there you go see now you can bring those brushes in there very cool let's go ahead and bring these yeah I may just keep that let that brush right in there I might I might keep it for you guys it's pretty cool so and if you hear a bird chirping in the background, he's just just saying hello and thank you guys for coming by and watching my videos. Okay, I'm gonna delete that. Now I have a couple of more brushes I want to demo here. This one's gonna be more with color. I'm going to make a black background really quick. And I'm gonna show you guys how to build up. I'm still getting used to CS6 a little bit, a little bit different, you know. But you know, they made a new one. Got us keep up with the Joneses. Now I'm gonna take take this brush here, change it to screen mode. Can change this to screen. Now this brush is gonna be made could be used as a flame brush or anything you see it as. I'm gonna bring this down to about twenty percent. Let me go ahead and bump up the 
size of this path really quick. I'm going to start coloring in. I'm about 20%. Start coloring in this stuff. Now this looks very similar to a flame. I'm going to go up, go about maybe 50% here. That's how I kind of designed it a little bit to be more like a flame. You start coming in the middle with the brighter, a brighter, you know, transparency a little bit brighter there, a little bit higher. Let's come in like so. Make some pretty cool effects there. You can go ahead and go in with your other brushes. So coloring with those. Okay, so coloring with these real quick. Then you can pretty much anything you come up with, you can pretty much start coloring in. So coloring in this one real quick, right there. Like that. Just go ahead and just go pretty crazy with it. I'll go ahead and go back to about 20% here. So you want to build your your build your lighting really really slow with about 10 or 20 percent and it's kind of coming in here's this one real fast just hit this one real quick with that then I might just take I'm gonna go ahead and modify this really quick I'm gonna go ahead I want I think this brush will be cooler if I had Make this a little bit thinner and taper it out like so. Change it, drop it back in our brush. Really quick. I'm gonna go tense this time. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start working with that brush I just created here. Go back to my original orange. I'm gonna go to about maybe 40% this time. Start coming in here with real quick. With that. Like so. It's really nice, really strong colors here. Start moving this into there. There's a lot of stuff you can do with these brushes and you know, I just want to show you guys what you can do and how to be creative and how to just take what I have. Don't it's not don't take what I have and keep it, you know, change it up, make it what you need to use. You know, I don't know what you need. This might this could be tree branches here, anything you might, you know, I don't know what what's out there, what you guys are project you guys are working on. But go ahead and feel free to modify these and, you know, just give me some credit. You know, this don't don't just take them and. Make them your own, but don't tell anybody you did that, you know, so. Okay, that was the end of our video. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, follow me on Twitter, at Fectology. And thank you very much for watching.